Hello. Um, well, this is Susan. You know Susan. Um, I made two videos last night, and in the making of both of them, my internet got cut off, so they didn't upload right. And, uh, so I'm just gonna go over really quick, as quick as I can, because I went over the 15 minute limit last time, um, just to keep about a couple things. Um, I made a pencil skirt out of an old dress, an H&M dress, and here, let me show it to you. It's just a plain pencil skirt in in stretchy fabric, and um, come on, come on, and uh, yeah, and I cut up a really nice dress that I used to have, so I feel kind of bad about it, but it's gonna make I'm gonna wear this pencil skirt all the time. Um, also, school started about a week and a half ago. Um, I'm taking ceramics, yoga, uh, intro to small business. Um, intro to business and fashion and an Eastern philosophy class. And I would show you guys some of my books just to have something to show you guys. Here, come here, come here. Um, but I don't have them in front of me. Um, also, Classy Cadavers is working on some stuff. Come sit down. And um, I made some tropical hair accessories. Here's one of my favorites so far. Each one of these has a diamond on the back of it just a little detail and uh, I got some lilies going on some purple lilies light purple lilies and a little more hibiscus and um, yep so that's what classic cadavers is doing I just got back from a business meeting um, with uh, Paige and her mom and uh, they're gonna be opening a vintage shop in New Monterey and they want me to vend there and also um, just give them some ideas on stuff they give me a few books to look at and what, what they should uh, order from other businesses and things like that so hopefully that'll get rolling pretty soon here and um, yeah I'll start vending in a new store in Monterey they're actually kind of right across the street from each other the cat's meow and then this new store they used to own the swim in silliness and uh, they were around for about two years before uh, the owner of their building passed away and they had to move um, but from what I heard they did really well and uh, also I did that uh, Three Ghouls Vanity Shop, The Ghouls Vanity Shop trade uh, weekend, and I haven't gotten any items yet, but I've been talking to a lot of ladies. I have a list here. Uh, Demonica Designs, Graveyard Accessories by Vanessa, Evil Kitty Lynn, I don't know if that's the name of her shop, but that's what her Facebook is. Taylor Haggard owns, I forgot what store, sorry. Uh, Sweet Themed, uh, Wendy, Wendy does spooky things, and uh, really cute, I love her stuff. Um, also, the Zombie Boutique, who has lots and lots of inventory stuff to look through. Um, so I'm doing that, and that is slowly but surely coming along, as well as all my other things. Speaking of slowly but surely, I got Zombie Walk. Um, I put a little hold on it, hold on, um, you know, just getting stuff together because of school. And that's going to take up a lot of my time. I'm doing a lot of things this semester, or at least the beginning of the year. Um, I got some stuff yesterday. I'm starting to use this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This has a natural tint, that's why it's pink. But um, I have very thin nails, and um, they break really easily. I just broke my thumbnail today. It's all flat. Um, it's supposed to be oval like that. But uh, this stuff should help me. I have naturally thin nails, and so when I go and get them done at the shop, when the fake nails come off, they take a lot of my natural nail with it, and it leaves them really damaged, and it takes a couple weeks for them to recuperate. So um, I'm trying not to get fake nails, because I really love getting acrylic nails, um, and yeah, hopefully my nails will get better. Um, Derby Dames. The Monterey Derby Dames, I have joined their team as a non-skating official. There are several non-skating officials in any derby team, and they keep track of the points, um, penalties against players, and uh, just general things like that. Uh, my first job is a penalty box uh, person, supervisor, I guess. I have to time the girls for their penalties. Um, and you would think it'd be easy for a girl to just sit down and, and take her penalty, but there are a lot of rules that come with it. For instance, if a girl knocks something down on her way to her chair, she gets an extra 10 second penalty. And the, ma the rounds are 2 minutes per interval, and it's uh, 30 minute games. 
and so if you're missing a whole minute of play it's really a lot to deal with and um, yeah they're just really strict on on how the girls sit down they have to sit in a special seat if they're not sitting in that special seat they get penalized again and uh, I just learned how the game works yesterday so I've got a lot of information in my head trying to figure out where it goes so I'll be doing that uh, throughout the year throughout the next few years hoping I mean I hope um, they practice at several places around the Monterey Peninsula. Last night they had a meeting at the hockey rink in Fort Ord, which is technically Marina. Um, and they usually practice at the Monterey Fairgrounds. And uh, in order to get that space, they had to offer people, they had to give up people to do volunteer work for the other things that go on at the fairgrounds, such as the county fair. And um, beer fest and other things like that. And I wouldn't mind volunteering my time to those things. I volunteered for the Monterey Fair before. It wasn't fun at all. I had to stand in a room and just watch stuff, make sure nobody would knock anything over, and it was really boring, and I ended up leaving because I just wasn't that interested in it. So hopefully now I have, um, I'll have a little more of incentive to stay there, and um, when I signed up previously, it was like I signed up to work like four days out of the week at like four hours per time. So that might have been a little too much and I wasn't really aware of how boring it was going to be but the Derby Dames only require that you put in two hours of community service um, so that should fly by pretty quickly if I have my phone on me or something um... what else? oh yeah check out my old videos because they don't have any comments and I don't think anyone watches my old videos just because my new ones are maybe a lot more interesting I don't know I can't believe I got that all in in six minutes. It took me 20 minutes last time to make a video about this stuff. Maybe because I, I didn't go in depth about it. But um, I want to talk about something that I found out about from uh, I think her channel is called A Vintage Revival. Um, she her last video, which was I think came out a day or two ago, she mentioned uh, the Rosebud Solve by Smiths. It's like a like a chapstick. Um, kind of thing, um, lip balm for dry lips when you get dry lips when you wear lipstick and I get that very often that's why I don't usually wear lipstick I only wear lipstick for my videos and parties um, so I'll be going to Sephora and pinking that up again it's called the Rosebud Solve by Smiths it looks like an old little just like an older like tin thing of stuff and um, maybe I'll give you guys a link to that because she said that it really worked out for her and uh, I'm really interested in trying it. I like watching her videos. Um, what else did I want to talk about since I got some time? Oh, there's a mermaid party thing going on in Sacramento and I think May, May or March and it's at a bar called The Dive and they're going to have live mermaid swimmers there and the whole thing is like decorated like mermaids and underwater and and recently um, I don't really want to say my friend because we're not that close but my acquaintance Fallon is really into mermaids and she's obsessed with mermaids I think and so I mean she really inspired me to to look into mermaids and the history and the fashion um, behind like a mermaid lifestyle and I started drawing up some ideas for my mermaid costume because I do plan on going to this event um, and so that's something I'm working on also school and whatever I told you guys about that <coughs> um, yeah that's pretty much it mm, yep Oh, this is my um, pinup couture top. It goes down to about here. And it's really tight, nice, uh, slim fit. It, as you can see, it goes with my shape very well. I don't know how well you were able to hear that because my microphone is over here. But um, I pinned a little squirrel foot to it. This is um, from necromance.com. I got this a long time ago. I don't know if they still have them. It was like $10. Um, so that's pretty much it. And... I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.